Welcome to video four. Better ball striking without changing your swing. That sounds good, right? Yeah, well, with feedback, we can really improve how we strike our irons. We, after that pure ball striking, we don't need to change anything technical, but we need, do need to be aware of what's going on. Okay, so let's lead into it. Okay, so you mentioned feedback to help our ball striking. Mm -hmm. Mate, how do we do it? Okay, well, we're just gonna use a little marker pen. So we're gonna get a range ball here. Going to just color in the middle line and this mark is gonna transfer onto the club face. It's important to put that mark in the right spot. We're gonna put it towards the bottom at the back of the ball where I intend to strike the ball. Okay. So I've towed a couple of shots recently. Let's see if we're getting that feedback today. That was definitely out the toe, Steve. As we can see, that mark is transferred onto the club. Great feedback. I know from the sound and the feel yeah. that I've towed it, but not everyone has hit as many balls as I have. So this gives us great feedback on where we're actually striking the ball. Yeah, that's a really cool piece of kit. Nice and simple. We've got feedback on the club face. You've hit that one out the toe. That's obviously not really where you want to hit it. No, so I'm how going to do lose we... some distance. Yes. Uh, and I'm going to lose control over the, over the flight of the ball. So how do we improve it? All right, so we're going to just use a couple of tees for a drill. Put the ball down there, and we're going to get these tees nice and close. If I were to tow the ball again, then I'm going to hit this inside tee. As you can see, I've got it on a bit of an angle. That's just to allow for the shape of the club, the hosel. And I don't have a lot of space there, but I want to get that club between those tees, bit of a gate drill. Obviously, Glenn hits a lot of balls, so he's going to start off quite, quite tight in there. You guys can start wider and just get progressively better and better and better. If you have them too wide, then you, you won't hit them and you can yeah. still hit toes or heels. But yeah, start with a bit easier and then make it tougher as you get better. So if I tow it, I'm going to hit this inside tee. So I want to miss both tees. And closer to the sweet spot on that one. Beautiful. So missed the tees. I didn't mark up the ball that time, but yeah, felt a lot better. Okay, well that was a fantastic little gate drill. Is that the only thing that we can do to improve our ball strike? Well, we see some players that might be able to find the sweet spot, but they hit the turf first. Or, the, or they thin it. A very common problem to thin a lot of golf shots. And without getting too technical, we're, we're sort of talking about angle of approach or angle of yeah. attack? A, lo a lot of golfers try to help the ball up in the air and, and get a little bit scoopy. You can still get a decent shot if it's a perfect lie, but if the ball's sitting down a bit or if you're in the rough, we definitely want a better angle of approach into the ball. And it's all about where you're catching the turf. Okay, so I assume you've got another drill for us? Well, it's just with one tee for this drill. So we're just going to lay that tee behind the ball. And I use this drill with a lot of golfers and a lot of golfers hit the tee. And when we don't want to do that because that's just scooping the ball as we talked about, we want to hit the turf after the ball. Any good ball striker will hit the ball first and then the turf. Okay. I've got that tee about five centimeters behind the ball. And we want to leave that tee behind, same as we did with the other drill. Oh, I've caught it a little bit. So that wasn't pure. Caught a little no, bit but, of turf there. But that's feedback. Exactly. So why don't you have another go, mate? Here we go again. So I caught the turf a little bit too early on that one. Let's see if I can catch the turf a little bit later. Same setup. And that was a much nicer strike. You can see the divot is just after the ball there and I've missed the tee. Okay, so there's two really simple ways and two relatively easy drills to help improve our ball striking. Yeah, and you can do this drill on the driving range. You can do it out on the golf course if you're out there on your own. And it's a really good drill for on mats. We're really lucky to be on a grass driving range here, but this just gives you great feedback if you're at a driving range that you're on mats. Brilliant. So we'll see you in video five. Thanks very much, guys. This is Ollie Golf Pro.